Hey everyone, and welcome back to Paranautical Activity. It, uh, as usual, has been a little while since I've played this, because that's just generally how I handle things with this series. I haven't played Dynamite in a while, I think. And I have, I have the sword that now works. Um, I, it's worked for a while, so I don't think that that's actually really relevant information at this point, since it has definitely worked since the last I played it, or since, like, it worked last time I played it, I think. But we've got the grenade launcher, which is a super fun weapon. And if I wanted to, I could cheese by doing the exploit, but, you know, I think that makes the game way too easy. And since this is a comparison that a lot of people seem to like, like to make, it's not even slightly comparable to Brim Snapping. Because it's just like, not only is it infinite, it's just way, way more powerful. So I don't really see how it's relevant to compare the two because it really isn't. So let's see, Piracy, that's decent. Um, bucket of Tar. I always forget if that's the one that fills it or gives me extra. I think it just fills it, so it's not really worth it. Rabbit's Foot for more drops of um, power-ups. But Piracy gives us $25 every time we get hit. So that's actually really exploitable, and I'm pretty down to have that given the ability to get $225 on this level, of course. So here we're going to get Blubber, and that's going to give us 6 health and a uh, small speed down. I'm fine with that, honestly. Like, completely. Ow. I actually did get hit there. <laughs> Ow, don't kill me. I haven't played the game in a little while, but that's normal. I haven't usually by the time I'm doing a video. Alright, so that handles the boss. Now that handles you. So we are back to full health. We got just under $100. Let's grab Runner. Let's grab Blubber. Let's fight the mini boss. I don't think we're even going to get any of the things because I don't want Bucket of Tar for hopefully obvious reasons since I currently have full super weapon ammo and don't even know that I'll end up using it. Uh, and it's just not worth a hundred dollars. Uh, Rabbit's Foot could be worth having, but I'm not really excited to get it. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm getting anything this shop. Hey, Lightning Bolt. Don't see that very often. That's really good. It's a speed up and a fire rate up, so I like that a lot. Especially because I think it either exactly or very nearly offsets, um, Blubber. Which makes me pretty happy. Okay, let's blow up those fools, which I do believe just worked. Oh. So currently it takes three bombs to kill a Gilead. Why don't you come down here and fight me like a man? Alright, there you go. Now everything's dead. And nothing dropped very much. That's really disappointing. So next floor I'm hoping to fight the eyes, because I really, really, really would like to get a double jump. Because that's just way better than Skeleto's soul, but at least with this character, Skeleto's soul has some value in that it means that we can shoot our bombs exactly where we want to. So it is, it's a lot more valuable right now than it is normally, but I'd still rather not get it compared to some other stuff. Or that one other thing, really. Of course, I just have to hope that the game's randomness is going to work in my favor. I don't know. Alright. First few floors, I'm willing to do every room without even thinking about it. Because none of the... There's no reason not to. They're all fine. Okay. That should handle at least one of them. Yeah, just one of them, though. Oh, I expected the second one to die there. It's fine. We got it. Now let's grab all the stuff, and completely disregard any semblance of an order that I'd like to go and go through this level in, because who needs that? Okay, you just like do that if you like, I guess. So that room went pretty badly because I took some silly damage. That's cool though. Alright. Well that's weird. Might be windy outside or something, I don't know, if you probably can't hear that. 
Sounds like something's going on. Maybe a helicopter's going over. Or maybe there's some loud lawnmower driving down the street or something, but we don't have those around here. So I'd, I'd doubt that. Alright, let's fight the mini-boss. See what goes on. Ugh, oh, what an annoying mini-boss for this character. You pretty much just have to hope, because it doesn't actually follow a pattern. And that makes it really difficult to hit with non-hitscan weapons. Because it can go wherever it wants most of the time. Okay, it's almost dead, now it's dead. Is that a compass? It is a compass, that shows us the full floor. So that's really convenient. Can I grab that? No. Not unless I get a double jump in the boss. Uh, so since it's so far out of the way for the rest of the floor, I'm gonna go to that one room over there, since it's, you know, not a thing, and just clear it out now so that I can not backtrack super far to get here again. Okay. Easy peasy. Alright, that should be everything in there. Alright, so now we can go on to happiness and bosses and shops and things. And this is really convenient for the floors where we don't want to clear everything because now we can go straight where we want. Finding it this early is really useful, uh, but it's just even more valuable later. Okay, that actually totally should have killed that one, but, you know, I'm not going to question things. Okay. Money is mine. 233, it's not a lot. It'll hopefully do, but by the time we get to the shop, we'll have gotten a lot more. Sometimes I wish there were a crouch in this game. Not all the time, just sometimes. Oh, that's interesting. Cool. Let's fight the boss. Yeah, so we're going to get the double jump, which is going to aid us in our bunny hopping escapades, as well as just maneuverability in general. So I like it. I like it a lot. If we happen to be able to get angel wings as well, we'll have flight. Just infinite jumps. Alright, come on. Stop moving so much so I can kill you. That's another onk, which is invincibility for like 15 seconds. It's pretty good. Alright. This is going quite swimmingly. We can kill both of them pretty much at the same time. I, no, I'm not sure if I got hit there. I might have. I'm definitely going to take the Ankh over the um, other thing I have here. It's just worth more to me. Golden Heart is really good if we had gotten piracy. So for now, it's it's going to be the Ankh. Actually, I prefer Golden Heart to the Ankh because ideally I'm not getting hit in the first place. So Golden Heart, I mean, if I'm not getting hit, is also not going to have much value. But it's better because it'll last me longer because if I do use it to recover and I'm not getting hit a lot then I get a lot of time back from it whereas the Ankh is just 15 seconds I don't know it's what's working in my mind I'm probably not explaining it super well eh yeah I'm gonna go to the shop first why not bloody doubloon mystery box well definitely taking the bloody doubloon uh, okay I have it but I don't have it alright let's do it poison bombs that's good alright it's fine I have it because it costs two health and it wouldn't let me buy it but now I do uh, poison damage as much poison damage as the blowfish would give us without um, lowering anything, without lowering our damage. Alright, so now uh, Golden Heart is super duper valuable because we can go really low on health to buy items using our Bloody Doubloon, which makes items cost health instead of... And that's, that's health just for a fill, not like heart containers, which is great. So it makes um, items cost health instead of money, and now our money is worthless, but we have the strong desire for as much health as we can get. Now, I'd rather have 
the grenade launcher than the sickle. Just so you know, if that wasn't clear by the fact that I didn't take it. And, alright. Shops this way. I want to go there first. Lava rooms are not threatening at this point in the game. So I, I fear nothing, essentially. And note that, yeah, I have a bunch of bombs, and you may think that that's not worth very much when I have infinite bombs. It is. It's going to help me against certain bosses, namely the final boss, I suppose. Uh, yes, there's no way I don't take Powder Keg. That doubles my bomb damage. I may as well take me Mega Bullets. Alright. So, now the only reason to do all the rooms is not money, but health. So yeah, now I'm two-shotting them. That's good. Okay. Kill you. Kill you. That did kill you, yes. Now everyone's dead, I guess. Haven't used my super weapon yet, which, I mean, yeah, that's kind of a problem, but it's also kind of not. So, I do believe that, um, that powder keg will increase my bomb damage. Like, even when I pick up a damage up later, it'll apply the times two again. So that means that picking up mega bullets after it was not a mistake, as far as I know. And even if it were, it's fine with me. It's not a big deal. Alright. Another golden heart. Sadly, I don't have anything I want to buy. Power of the Gods is just a random power-up, and I don't want a random power-up. I have exactly the one I want. Sadly, there's not another shop here, because I have a second golden heart, and I don't have a use for it. Because, I mean, yeah, I could use one and then take the other with me. Ideally, I'm going to get back to full health anyway, and I won't need to do that. That's just kind of, sadly, my reality. But there it is if I need it. So this is going to get me to the mini-boss, which gives me a random item, and that could be something I really want. Alright. Good. Oh, excuse me. It thought I was falling off of something, so I only had one jump instead of two. It was sad. I didn't like it. Oops. Okay, gotta handle them. Ow, don't do that, Russell. You're a mean-spirited man. Alright. Is that a magnet? Yeah, I love the magnet. Brings all the drops that are relevant to us straight to us, so we don't have to worry about collecting them. Not including power-ups, it's just like health and money and stuff. Still good, that saves me so much time throughout the run. Alright. So see, I'm back to full health. I may not have any... Um, ow, why am I getting hit so much? This is pitiful. I may not have any armor, but I have plenty of health and I'm gonna be fine. And it actually does maybe pull things from other rooms, because watch this. Um, oh, it, it's it's trying to come to me from another room. Assault doubles our fire rate as well as our damage, so it's really good. Poseidon here, uh, he can give me a random item, or with a 20% chance he gives me the trident. And honestly, uh, I didn't want him to give me the trident because it's so good with the magnet, which I do have, but it doesn't synergize as well with the things I have. It's just, it's so rare to have that chance at that combination that it's hard to say no, but I really, I don't want it. It's one of those things, it's just, I don't want to do it, but I haven't done it that recently. This combination is also rare, so you know, I, you don't always get the opportunity at the double damage and all that poison and junk. So I'm gonna go with what I have because it's what I wanna play with right now. But it's, trust me, it's tough. It is fun to use the trident though. Don't get me wrong. Okay, wow, you just went flying, Bomba. 
Okay, so we're done here. Why why did he have to give me the trident? Why? Why you do this? Okay. <laughs> yep, you can multiply the trident. We <laughs> hope that doesn't glitch the game. Because normally if you don't have the magnet as well, when you do that you just get like a ton of tridents on the ground and I don't think you can pick up any of them. But in this case, actually wait, let's see what's over on the four away from here. Though I don't need to farm money or anything. Ow. Uh, you know what? I have full health, so I'm just going to make my way to the shop and the mini boss first. Because I don't need to farm money at this point. Which is really good news, honestly. Oops. Uh, I didn't know you could get stuck there. They get stuck in a lot of places. I've never seen that one. Did kill all of them through the wall. That's wonderful. Alright. I'm not that fast, but I'm fast enough, which is pretty much all that matters. Oops, that was my own fault, too. Alright. First stop may as well be the shop. See if we want anything here. Full double damage in, double damage out. I'm going to be honest, I want all of these things. 5 plus 4 plus 2 is 11. Eh, you know, let's do it. And we use that. Damage and fire rate up from the naval training. Increased aerial mobility from the sail. Oops, okay, yep, I knew that was going to happen. Okay. Look how much damage we do with each hit. I wish I had another golden heart, of course. Okay, so I got the spring, so I jump higher. But there is plenty of health laying around. That's at least a thing that I can <laughs> hope goes my way. Of course, double damage with the trident is insane. But note that we now one-shot Gileads, which is cool. Come at me, and then I'm just going to go fight the boss and leave. Okay, so jumping is actually even more valuable to me now that I have um, the sail, because I gain speed even faster in the air. Okay, so that kills him. Gets me this thing, which is two health up and five armor. And I'm honestly, uh, you know, I, I'm willing to farm a little only in decent rooms, like super decent rooms, because if I can get another golden heart, that would be super duper incredible for me. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty inclined to do that. Oh, how'd you get here? Eep. Eep. That was close. And that thing just died on its own, totally, by accident. Okay, that was close. So I know that the far room isn't beautiful, happy. This room's the same freaking room again. This is the only room for me, obviously. I almost just got myself hurt there. Okay, that handles you. And then this will handle you? Not quite. How did that happen? Oh well. I don't really want to deal with this room, so I'm not going to. Boom, problem solved. Wow, that was really silly of me. Spring is inconvenient sometimes. So let's uh, see if, wait, didn't check this room, did I? Yeah, that's that room. Did this one. This is gonna be nice. Darn. I thought I could escape that one unscathed. Ah, oh, well. I just really want to see another golden heart. 
Okay. There we go. I was unsure if I was ever going to be able to kill that Scorch. <laughs> and I did. Wait. Hot feet. Well, I may as well have something, right? Makes me immune to lava. Acid, probably, as well. Okay, is there something down there? Nah. Don't need any of that. $906 that I have no use for whatsoever. That's always nice. Alright then, let's just get back to the boss room and then leave. Okay, that was a little close. Uh, what is here? This is a runner. And of course I got hit again, which is just really terrible of me. I had like 7 armor. Of course, Fool makes everything more interesting, pretty much all the time. Okay, we're far from everything. Okay, good. That got out of the way. How about not doing that? Jerk bag. Okay, that handled that one. I'm not a fan of pretty much anything that's going to happen in here. Namely because of those jerks being in every room. Okay. Yeah. This is what I don't like at the moment. Okay. Oh, this room's bad. Oh, God. All right, then. Yeah, I'm not feeling too confident about my ability to live. Uh, one, that health box is absolutely going to give me more than it takes away. So <laughs> That's a good trade. Uh, I'm not going to buy the starfish. Nor the crossbow. That room actually doesn't look that bad. I must say. Ah, uh, based health box. Yeah, the one thing about this weapon is that it definitely doesn't deal well with the uh, monkeys. Okay. I have 30 seconds of immunity to this. Okay, that was everyone. Wonderful. Alright, this room is cool. Okay, I didn't actually have a lot of a window for that. That was pretty close. Otherwise, the uh, ceiling monkey was going to catch up to me sooner than later. Okay, this room's actually super simple. Ow, I did not deserve to get hit for that, though. Okay, Spega's going to give me a damage up and a um, poison damage up. So that's pretty nice to have. Uh, there must be some spiders. There we go. Handles everyone. We almost have full health again, too, which is nice. Of course, uh, I'm going to visit the mini-boss. This is unfortunate. Darn. I really thought that might work out for me. Wait, everything's dead somehow, and then I just damaged myself a ton. So, uh, can you say I'm boned? One hit. And no one wanted to give me health. Alright then. Fool, killing runs for fun. Uh, this run, this room is what I was going to say actually, is pretty questionable. Okay, I still don't survive one hit, which is what I'm aiming for. Nope. Oh. Okay, now I survive a hit. That is actually really good news. Speed and damage up. And nothing wanted to give me the thing I needed. This was only level 5, so level 6 is when, when it gets serious. I don't think I can really afford to take chances here. I'm going to go and hope for the best. Oh, boy. This is what Fool does to runs. And, you know, I love it, but I also hate it. OK, 
Okay. Kill all you. Can you also die? Thanks. Didn't get any health for it. But if there's another health box in here, I wouldn't... There, You know, there's nothing that could make me happier. Mushroom's pretty decent. Shield lover, uh, it doesn't really have a lot of bearing. Alright. Let's see if this is an ugly room. No, this is actually a pretty good room. It's the same room. Okay, good. I was a little worried there. Battery does not matter to me at all, sadly. Okay, that's not a bad room either. Okay, as long as I killed the ceiling monkeys, I don't really care how soon I kill the Scorch or the Lectors. I shouldn't get hit by any of them. That almost hit me, which would have been really bad. There we go. That'll do it, indeed. Okay, so Banshee's going to give me a damage up. We have enough damage, I must say. Okay, so that handles that. <laughs> this is a dance that must be had. Okay, so what was the power-up that was in that room? I may as well check, at least. Oh, it was a freaking battery. It just gives us full uh, super weapon charge. I'm not going to go for the mini-boss. I have uh, enough stuff. It's just a matter of being not dead. Right now I have 9 health, which is something. It works. Oh, this is a bad, bad layout. Why? Why? Okay, that was, um, that was good. So far. So far, it, it, it was good. I see the bomb dude just tumbling on his way across the room. That's fine. 10 health is no different from 9 health, sadly. Okay. All right, that was really, really well handled. Really well handled. Shop, what do you have? Shield lover again, winged foot, not worth it. Lighthouse would be pretty good, but I do not have the health or recovery to spare for it. Okay, so I guess we'll check, see which room looks more threatening. Definitely this room's the way to go. Yeah, this room's easy. Okay, what's alive? You are. And then you are. Alright, I don't know if I've won a run with Fool yet. So, oh my god, really? I got hit by a trap. So I'd like to turn this into that run that I finally do it with. It's not looking too good. At the moment, my life looks very questionable. Okay, then I need to go this way. Okay, this is level seven. Okay, I'm glad we one-shot these dudes too. However, I'm not glad that they hit me at all ever, because I can't really afford to have that happen. Okay, no, 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 no. There we go. Oh, you're still alive somehow. Cool. Get over it. Get over being alive. It's so yesterday for you. I missed. Oh, I'm gonna hit myself. Okay, that didn't hit me. Oh my god. One hit from death. Nothing giving me health. Alright, I can afford to take one hit against the boss. Oh, 
Well. This is going well because of my bomb count. Lag. Boss is dead. Skeleto. We win. That was... Yeah, I had a lot of bombs. That was my first full win, and I'm happy with it. I will just take it as is. Fool just does terrible things to runs, but I had a lot of fun with that one because it was so close, so tough. Uh, with the Trident, I actually think I would have lost due to Fool. Then again, there would have been some situations where I wouldn't have taken damage, but I'd also have to have been more patient. It's I think that I made the right choice from a winning perspective. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed the run as much as I did. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.